Hi, this is Justin Lucas Savage at CoachRadio.tv with another LinkedIn in our series of social media tutorials. I'm going to spend just a few minutes talking about how you can use LinkedIn if you're somebody like a sales professional or somebody just, uh, you have a business, whether it's a small, medium, large size business, and you want to reach out and find other businesses. First and foremost, the thing that you need to do above all else is have a complete, full profile on LinkedIn. You have your picture, something that says what you do. You need to have all of these things filled out. So over here, it says 100% profile completeness. You need to have that. The more connections you have, obviously, the better. And I think you know why that is, because you can see who's in your first, who's in your second, and who's in your third. And so what I'm talking about is who's a first connection for you? People that you know directly. Second is who do you know directly that knows other people? And then third is right down the list. So you can go through that and see all that through your profile. And then there's some really neat statistics and things that you can pull up. But under this more, remember I, I did another tutorial at coachradio.tv. This more, there's some really neat things here. But when you click on companies, this will load here in a page and you can see some very, very interesting things about some companies. Say you're doing some research, you need to get in touch with a, a company that has five employees. You need to get in touch with a company that has 10 employees. You can do any number of things. So you can search by keyword here and then by location and you can do located in or near. You can do zip codes, United States, only headquarters in those zip codes. Let's do anywhere. Let's search under more options. I think this is what has some some true power here. So I'm going to click under more options. And by the way, if you have a company and you don't have a company profile set up, go and do that. You'll find that on LinkedIn as well. So I'm going to search for um, all companies. You can narrow it down to first and second degree if you want. And let's say that I, oh, I'm, a, I'm in sales or I want to go after a, a company because I've got a great product or service that could help them. And let's say... Well, let's look for, for 11 to 500 employees. And you can also, by the way, if you're looking for a job, search only companies with jobs posted on LinkedIn. So I'm just going to search through this, 11 to 500 employees. Now look at this. I have 25 pages. This whole first page is, look, first, you know someone at this company. And it lists it directly in that order. So here it's going to list their, their headquarters. And now a lot of these companies I have never heard of. You can also see where, where jobs are, are advertised for. So I can go through here and look at all of these things and search down by, here's um, a pharmaceuticals companies, uh, 200 to 500 employees. Now this is really neat stuff here. I can click on this. It's going to give me an overview of what these people set in on their profile. There's also some related companies. And look at this, current employees, 237 total within LinkedIn, 49 on my network. Okay, so first first connection and then all of these seconds. So I can see that I'm connected to an associate vice president of information technology. And I can just go down here, some re regional sales manager, senior VP of human resources. If I wanted to, to get in touch with Jennifer, all I have to do here is go through. In fact, I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Let me open that up in a new tab and we'll come right back to it. So here's some key statistics. Top locations were these folks, Raleigh, Durham here in my area. There's some people in New York City, San Francisco, and then even in Atlanta. Common job titles. Now this is of the people who are on LinkedIn. So territory manager, all those sales guys, sales manager, right? They're out here on LinkedIn. You can see where people went to school and all sorts of really neat things. Even pulls up some stock information for publicly traded companies. So going back to, I clicked on Jennifer here. If I wanted to get in touch with her, I know her through Warren, obviously. He also works at the same company. And I could say, I could send a, uh, a request. Now she's got 50 connections as well. I can say I can either add her to my network, which could be a little odd if she doesn't know you, but I could get introduced to Jennifer through a connection. Now this pulls up and here's my email. I can put my phone number in. They're going to get that. And um, I can choose, you know, whatever I want here. I'd say a consulting offer and a subject. Now my message to Jennifer, I could type in that I want to talk to her. Hey, found you here. Love what you're doing. Whatever that is. And a brief note to include to Warren. 
who I know her through, or I don't know her, but who I know and knows her is connected. So it makes it really, really intuitive here. And I click send, it sends this to Warren and he sees the note. He can click then to pass it on, to forward it on to Jennifer. So it makes it, uh, it just makes a really, really easy process to do this. So this is LinkedIn again, this is under more and companies. And there's just an, an amazing amount of things that you can do with it. Go back to coachradio.tv and search through the blog for all of the rest of the social media tutorials that I've done. They're all free and tune into the radio show on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm Justin Lucas Savage at coachradio.tv.